Hello everybody, welcome to the English Matters Grammar Lesson for each one of us. My name is Ranjit Paul and I have brought another lesson, a topic called Articles. In this lesson, I will talk about the definition and the use of articles in different kinds of sentences. So before I start the lesson, if you happen to visit my channel for the first time, do subscribe it, press on the bell icon so that you get the regular updates whenever I upload new lesson on my channel. So let's get started. Okay. A and the. They are called articles. Okay. So now when to use these articles in a given sentence? To start with, the article A is used before a word with a consonant sound. We go by the sound. For example, a boy. Okay, when you use it in the given sentence, the pronunciation of the letter A becomes a. So, a boy, a dustbin, okay, a wallet. Because if you look at the pronunci pronunciation of the first letter, boy, the sound is b sound. Dustbin, d. Wallet, w. Glass, a glass, g. So, these are consonant sounds. We use a uh, before the consonant sounds. However, when we say uh, an, an is used before vowel sound like e, igloo, e sound, an igloo, an umbrella. So, and uh, when you're using it in context, the pronunciation of an is an, an igloo, an umbrella, an orange, o sound, an eagle, e, an eagle. So, remember this. A is used before the consonant sound and is used before the vowel sound. I've given you one quick exercise. Use these uh, articles A and AN in the given examples. All right, let's check the answer. Okay, now here a wallet, a table. However, I've written a union because if you look at the pronunciation, you it's not union it's you the pronunciation is with uh, is a vowel sound so because of that it is a union but in this case an honor so h is it remains silent and the pronunciation is o it's a vowel sound and honor it's not unicorn it's unicorn so because of the consonant pronounce sound it is a unicorn a tree a motorbike However, M A. So M is pronounced with a consonant or vowel, vowel sound. A, M A, M A. So an M A. So remember this. We we'll go by the sound. So rem uh, based on all these observations, we can say A and an is called indefinite article. So if you are talking to someone and introducing something for the first time, you use the article A or an. Okay. And a or an is used before the singular countable nouns. Singular. A pen. A book. We don't say a pens. Wrong. A pen. A book. A spectacle. Okay. Right. So, and, uh, but it is all to do with the countable nouns. If you say a water, it will be incorrect. The singular countable noun. However, the is called definite article and the is used before any kinds of noun. It is singular, plural, countable, uncountable, doesn't matter. But remember this, when you introduce something for the first time, you use a or an. And the, if the introduction is already done, if you talk, want to talk about the same thing again, use the definite article the. Okay. Let's do it in uh, some, uh, let's practice it with some examples. I want to see a doctor so when you say i want to see a doctor it means it can be any doctor a general physician specialist a doctor from your locality or from some other town so a doctor any doctor but if you're talking to someone telling the person i want to see the doctor it means it is clear that the person you're telling knows about the doctor you're talking about so some definite doctor where is the food court it means you're talking about the food court which the person already is aware of. He knows about the food code. 
So you're asking this question, where is the food goal? So this is called some, uh, the first one is indefinite article and the last two are definite articles because you know about them. All right, let's go through these examples. A bed, okay, singular countable noun, bed, an omelette or sound and singular countable noun, a water, it is incorrect because it is uncountable noun and do not use a or an before the uncountable noun and advice similarly advice is the uncountable noun we do not use a or an before that however an intelligent it seems correct but doctors it's a plural so we need to know that a or an is before singular countable noun so it is plural that's why it is incorrect look at these two examples I have bought a pen so you are talking about a pen which nobody knew in the beginning so you just introduce the pen with the article a pen okay you just said I have bought a pen now in the second part said the pen writes very well on any kind of paper it means the pen which you bought now you have already introduced that's why you're calling it to be definite in the next part of the sentence the pen which pen the pen which you bought I saw three people drowning into the water I cried for help and people came running to rescue the people immediately okay so you can say in the first part you introduce three people and you call for help and people ran to help those what the people it means the people who were drowning so this is how called definite article based on the fact that you have already introduced those people in the first part of the sentence okay now we do not use article before proper noun like Lisa, Ria, Japan. There are some exceptions. We can see the use of the before the United States or the United Kingdom, the Himalayas. For this, you need to definitely be in touch with studies and get to know all these through a lot of experience. Okay. We do not use article before the name of days, Sunday, Monday, uh, there are many more, so just etc. Name of games, cricket, tennis, name of languages, we do not use article before them. We can say an Urdu teacher, but we don't say an Urdu or a Spanish. We can say a Spanish uh, educator, fine. But altogether by itself, as a language, we do not say a or an or the Spanish or the Spanish. Okay, so we avoid using article in such cases. So I hope this lesson helps you to understand the concept of article. Uh, meanwhile, you keep learning. If you have any question, ask me in the comment section below. I'll get back to you very soon. Until then, you take care. Have a great day. Bye-bye.